Hello and welcome. In this video, we will demonstrate how to debug this MV Tech Halkin machine vision application. To do so, we will use the Halkin Variable Inspect extension in Visual Studio. First, let's see what this application does. When we click this button, an image containing beans and peas is read, and the number of each is calculated. However, we can see that the results are not correct. For example, this bean is segmented incorrectly. This bean is not recognized. Here, again, a bean is not segmented correctly. And in this image, for example, this bean is classified incorrectly as P. Let's open Visual Studio to debug the application's c -sharp code. We can see that a threshold is first applied on the red image. Then, region morphology is used to separate the regions. In a visualization procedure, the results are displayed, the beans are highlighted blue, and the peas orange. Let's start the application again to see where we're having problems. In the first image, this bean is segmented incorrectly. In the second image, this P is not recognized, and these beans are classified incorrectly. To debug the application, we insert a breakpoint at the end of the main code and start the application again. After the breakpoint is hit, we can see the used variables here. Notice, however, the images and regions are merely pointers and therefore cannot be inspected visually. For this reason, the Visual Studio extension, Halkin Variable Inspect, is included in the Halkin installation. You can use this extension with C Sharp, C++, and Visual Basic.net. Now let's have a look at the variables that Halkin used. First, we can see the red image and the thresholded region. Next, an erosion is performed to separate the touching objects. Here, we can zoom into the graphics window and have a closer look at the eroded region. We can see that for this region, only a few pixels remain after the erosion. In the second image, the region of this P has been eroded completely. This suggests that the radius in this operator call is too high. Let's decrease it by 10. Then we restart the application. In the first image, we can see that the separated regions now look much more robust. And in the second image, this P is now found as well. After having fixed this problem, let's have a look at the differentiation of beans and peas. Here at the bottom, we can inspect the tuple number of peas, which is 7. However, there are only 6 peas in the image. When we display all P's, we can see that this bean is classified incorrectly as a P. Thus, we have to make this select shape operator call, which selects regions based on their roundness, a bit more strict. We increase the minimum value, remove the breakpoint, and restart the application. Now the beans and peas are recognized correctly in all images. One last tip. If the locals variable tab gets too long, the watch tab can be useful. You can add variables either directly from the code or from the Locals tab. This concludes our video on debugging Halkin code in Visual Studio using the extension Halkin Variable Inspect. 
In the video description, you can find the links to download this Visual Studio solution. Thank you for watching.